Lex Lewis, as we all know, won the last seven. He has hung him up, at least for now. I think we got a uh, good suspicion he might be back on the stage next year in the Open, but for now, it's a vacated title. Good saying, Lou! <laughs> I, I do hope so. Why not? Do I need an interpreter, Luke, or are we good? Interpreter? Do I need one? No, Nathan's in here. You knew it was coming. Did I just say? Lose my buddy. Uh, yeah, but wow. I mean, I've never even been to Vegas. Um, every year I watch this, I stay up till like 2 in the morning and I watch this um, in my bed, or my lounge, uh, and all the morning house now. So, uh, and just, you know, just to be sat here is just, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming. Am I dreaming the thrill? You're not dreaming, my friend. Wow. Yeah, that's even better. So, is there how many British people are here? Yeah. I know there's someone over there because I can see him. Come on. Oi, oi! Yeah, over there. Nice. You can see. Nice. Pop this up in there to make sure you qualify. That's how important it was for you. You weren't going to rest on your points. You wanted to get out there. More importantly, you wanted to make a statement. And you did that. After the pre judging, there's a lot of people that actually had you ahead of Dexter sure at the Tampa. I did hear that. Did you hear that, Dexter? Dexter knows. Dexter knows. He knows. I'm trying to keep it quiet, but I'm going my straight ones. <laughs> Dexter, 
you worried about Luke when you saw the condition this guy showed up in the Tampa? Dude, don't worry about everybody. <laughs> that, that's what. That's why I'm always at my best. I see guys backstage and I'm like, dang, everybody looks crazy to me. And I'm like, that's one thing. I'm, I'm really bad at judging guys. So everybody looks crazy to me. So that's what keeps me going and makes me make me want to come in the best I can do. Absolutely. You know, it wasn't real long to have that. It's so surreal. In fact, one of the, the funniest little stories I have for you is uh, when Phil, Phil Heath won his first Olympia in 2011, which I should know, this is the crux of this story, I was actually watching the play-by-play -play on Twitter as my son was being born. So, yeah, no one stops me watching the Olympia, and now I'm here. <laughs> Luke. Yes. Can you win? Yes. Maybe not this year. That will be the next year. Luke, see you now, stories coming into this week yeah representing the UK and you know the last guy that was over here wrecking havoc was the shadow six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates uh, he was a dream record for a lot of guys and Luke Sandow came out of the box real hot and heavy earlier in March he was third at the Arnold Classic in Ohio again when he was second to uh, Dexter Jackson last month in Florida, so he's putting on some freaking flyer miles, flying back and forth, trying to compete. Racking up those points. Yeah, he also went to Australia, and you can see, I think it might have taken a little toll, it might have caught up with him a little bit, especially in the midsection, he looks a little bit soft, and from the back, you can see he's just not where he needs to be in the back department. Again, we're talking about the water under the skin, which is, in these competitions, again, are one from the back, so when they all get compared together, we'll see where he fits in this lineup. Now, talk to uh, talk to the fans about traveling around to these international locations or even across the country and how your body just naturally can hold that layer of water traveling. Yeah, well, a lot of bodybuilders try to get in early so they can get rid of that water by training in the environment. Las Vegas is hot. We're in the desert. You know, Brandon uh, Curry and, and Rolly Wink, they're training in the heat of Kuwait, so they have usually a little bit thinner skin, but you can see Luke is just a little bit off. There's a little bit of water that's just blurring what we need to actually see here at this Miss Olympia. I love the vacuum. He's able to pull it all in. But again, he's going to have to stay tight throughout. He cannot relax his midsection, and he's going to have to play catch up from the back. Just getting the last bit of nerves out, and this guy right here is a breath of fresh air. Uh, the last guy coming out of England was uh, the shadow, Dorian Yates, and of course uh, Flex Lewis was living out there in Wales and, and doing his thing. This is the the next thing coming out of England. I first got my preview of him at the Arnold Classic this year when he got third place, which was a huge accomplishment because he took a lot of guys out in that contest. I feel that Luke is doing a great job representing himself in the UK. I feel that um, what he puts out there as far as content, one of the strongest bodybuilders in the world. Whether you're into strength or power, you can't help but be motivated or be inspired by people's per per personal um, ambitions in the gym with obviously lifting and performing and creating art on stage. Tim, the guys over in the UK, they actually wake up to this music he's posing to. 
He's got a very unique look. He's got a beard. Very few bodybuilders actually have facial hair. He's got some really cool, funky earrings in there. He's got a nose ring, but you can't help miss the quality of those quadriceps. You don't get that big without throwing around some heavy weights. Well, and to, to Neil's point about the work ethic, that's just got, he's got the warrior look, yeah. and you know he's lifting like a warrior on a daily basis. Look at the, the arms are solid, so I know he's a strong bodybuilder. His condition could be a little bit better, uh, especially from the rear. He looks solid from the front, big pecs. He's got everything there. He's just got to find in time drying out when it counts the most on a big stage. I do feel he's made some improvements since yesterday, though. I feel that he's a bit tighter t tonight I than agree. he was yesterday. I agree. Yeah. He is. And again, I'm a stickler. You've got to hang on to that midsection. Breathe through your chest, not your abdominals. Big, wide back. I'm not sure how tall he is, but he's a taller bodybuilder. He's probably about 5'10", I okay. would say. That's tall compared to 5'6", 5'7". You've only got two taller in here, I believe. That's Steve Kuklo and Cedric McMillan at six foot and six one, respectively. But he is carrying a lot of muscle. Yeah, and it's a little bit harder for these guys because you've got to eat all that food, and then you've got to try to control that weight. It's nerve-wracking. The fans don't see this, but when you're posing and squeezing like that, it's hard to get enough air in your lungs when you're breathing through your chest. For me, it's easy for me to say because I'm smaller. But when you're that big, everything is a little bit more laborious to get to. Good showing, though. First Olympia.